My name is Carl, and it is midnight in Texas. Until 2008, I was a conservative, and I changed my affiliation from Republican to Independent. When Donald Trump announced his candidacy in June of 2015, as he came down the escalator, I never thought this man would be elected. And I refused to vote for him. But when he won in 2016, I walked around like my best friend had just died, depressed for three days. And my wife said to me, well, you never know. I mean, maybe he'll learn and grow into the job and shock us. Well, he never grew. He refused to learn, and he has still managed to shock us. From his favorable actions and comments about Putin, to pulling out of Syria, to paying off porn stars, lying about it, getting caught, lying again, doing it all over again with a different woman, his actions on immigration, settling a $25 million lawsuit, operating a blatant university scam, hiding his grades, his medical evaluations, his taxes, longest tax audit in U.S. history, probably, his inept management of the entire COVID-19 crisis to the point that it's comical to watch. 140,000 Americans are now dead. That is the equivalent of every single citizen in Dayton, Ohio, dead. And even at the beginning of July 2020, he said, I still think the virus will disappear, I hope. AIDS hasn't disappeared. The common cold hasn't just disappeared. Tuberculosis hasn't just disappeared. His photo op at the church holding the Bible, how positively disgusting. I'm dismayed with his hourly, childish, incessant Twitter posts. This recent incident with promoting Goya products at the White House at the U.S. Resolute Desk. I'm appalled by the division and hatred he has purposely fostered in this country. Well, enough. Enough. I will be voting for Joe Biden in November. And about 25 of my conservative friends will be doing the same. Do I believe that Biden is the ideal choice? Is he the finest conceivable person to occupy the Oval Office? No, but he's a man of decency. And he also understands the consequences, the trickle-down effect of irresponsible behavior. He has the requisite skills to lead and manage and respond with dignity. Donald Trump is a cancer on this country and must be removed, and we have one opportunity, one in November. If you truly love the United States and what it stands for, Donald Trump must be removed with overwhelming action so we can make America great again. End of rant.